Hello and welcome to GK videos. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate on how to create and configure copy job on Lenovo EMC NAS device. For my demonstration, I'm using a PX4 300D device with IP address 192.168.0.20 and uh, Windows XP with 192.168.0.50. So to configure a copy job, below are the steps which I'm going to follow. So the step one is to share the data on the network, the data which I'm trying to transfer to the NAS using copy job, that has to be shared on the network. And uh, step two, to log into the NAS web console and uh, create a copy job. Step three, test the copy job manually to ensure it works perfectly fine or as expected without any error messages. Step four, if step three is successful or the manual job is successful, then just go ahead and schedule the copy job. All right. So uh, the first thing what I'm going to do is I have some data on the folder text. I have two G files that I'll be transferring over the network to the NAS device through copy job feature. The first thing I'm going to do is share the data. Click apply. OK. Now the data is being shared on the network. I'll just go to the NAS web console, all features, copy jobs. I have two copy jobs already been created. I'm going to create one more, add a copy job. Now I just need to enter a copy job name. The name can be anything. It doesn't really matter. You just name it with whatever the copy job you're copying from or something like that. I'll just type in Windows XP. Now the override settings. There are three options which you can select any one desired. The first one is override and don't delete. This option, files in the destination locations are overwritten with the files from the source location. So the files which I'm transferring from Windows XP to the NAS share. So any data is already available on the NAS, identical data that will be overwritten. And any new data from the source to the destination that will update as an incremental. Let's say file A is already there and I'm just trying to copy the file A again. So it will be overwritten and let's say file one was modified that will be updated. Now the second option is overwrite and delete. Here the files in the destination location are overwritten with the files from the source location. Which means any files in the destination location that are not in the source location are deleted. So I'm just transferring the data from Windows XP to the NAS. If the NAS has any other data other than the files which I'm transferring from Windows XP that will be deleted and only the data from the Windows XP the text folder will be copied other than any any other data will be deleted eventually once the job is done and um, the third option is don't overwrite meaning any files in the source location that are not in the destination locations are copied but no files are overwritten in the destination, which means any new data I'm just trying to transfer, that data will be copied to the destination on the NAS share. Uh, share. But any data which has already been present, that will not be overwritten. Now, the quick run or quick transfer option is more like you have a button on the NAS device. You enable this and uh, press that button that would start the copies of automatically. Now the from is the source from where I'm trying to transfer the data. So here I have a Windows XP. So uh, the host name doesn't show here because it doesn't resolve the NetBIOS or even I do have uh, the DNS entries for that. So uh, I'll just have to enter the IP address of the Windows XP device and uh, click OK. Now the protocol option I do have two protocols I can use the first one is Windows file sharing that's for Windows you are using it doesn't matter whether Windows server uh, or client 
Windows file sharing works uh, for all the Windows devices and rsync for Linux servers. You have a Linux client or Linux server, you want to back up from a Linux server to a NAS, you can use rsync protocol. And now the source username and password, here I'm entering the username password of Windows XP so that the NAS can use this authentication to access the data. And um, here is the data which I can see or the NAS can actually see the data, the shared data. And uh, the two is where I'm transferring the data. Here I have the NAS and backups is the shared name. I've just selected and click on create. Now the copy job has been created. So uh, the next thing what I'm going to do is I'll just run this copy job manually. So the run button I have, I just pressed it. Click OK. It is now processing. So which means it's trying to connect the device, trying to transfer the data, which is basically pull. And now the job is done. Since I have very less uh, amount of data, it really doesn't take much time. So it has finished so fast, but you have a huge data, it will take time. Now the op the second thing what I'm going to do is that I'll just go ahead and test it whether the data is really being backed up. So I'm just accessing the NAS uh, shares, the backups folder. I'll just enter the username and password of the NAS share. Now I can see the data has been backed up here on the NAS share folder. So meaning the manual job, the manual copy job works perfectly fine for me. So I have the data I can see here, the zip folders or the zip files. And uh, the next thing what I'll do is uh, I'll just go ahead and schedule it and see if that works well as well. So I have a schedule option below. I can enable this option to schedule it every day at certain point of time. So you can select a desired time where the network bandwidth or even the device is being less used. All right, maybe a non-business hour where no clients would be accessing the shares of the NAS and uh, you can select AM, PM, doesn't matter. <coughs> you can select whatever time and uh, the apply button is to apply or enable the schedule option for that. So for now, what I'm going to do is uh, I'll just check what is the time on the NAS. <coughs> Let me go to date and time. And uh, the time what I see is 10.55 a.m. So what I'm going to do is I'll uh, schedule this copy job at 11 o'clock or 11 a.m. And uh, I'll let this copy job run automatically. And uh, I'll see if the data is being copied as well with automatic backup or scheduled backup. So let me just go back and uh, schedule it at 11 o'clock. All days, 11 o'clock, 11 a.m. Click on apply. Cool. So now I've just enabled the automatic copy job. Now I'm going to transfer some more data or copy some more data on the test folder, which is being already shared on the network. So once the job is being done, that data has to be uh, present on the share, on the NAS share. So as you can see, the next run is 11 o'clock for the job. And uh, if I if I check in the event logs, uh, you know, in the event logs, I can actually find out all the jobs being created and uh, whether those are successful or failed. If failed, it would also give some reason why it is being failed. 
could be a network issue or uh, an authentication issue so th th those kind of error messages would basically help us uh, to troubleshoot and find out or maybe narrow the issue down to figure it out where exactly look when there is a failure occurs of copy job so as you can see there are copy job entries which I had created earlier and uh, those were successful now I'll have to uh, check the time again to see what time it is it's now 10 59 I'll just I'll just have to uh, pause this video for some moment and uh, let me just start it at 11 now it's 11 o'clock and uh, <coughs> let me check the event logs again and uh, the entry what I'm trying to see here is the copy job is successful yes the first entry what I can see is the copy job has been successful since I have very less data it might not take much time because if it's a huge data obviously it's gonna take a lot of lot of time it depends on the data you have now I'm just trying to check if the data is being copied and yes I can see that the other zip folder which I had copied to the test folder which I which is being shared that is being copied which means uh, the copy job even with the automate or uh, scheduled copy job is successful so that's how uh, you configure copy jobs on iMega or Lenovo NAS thank you so much for watching